The Ebola outbreak in West Africa is the largest and most complex Ebola epidemic in history. Existing health systems and infrastructures were not prepared to deal with a public health crisis of this magnitude. CRS, working with local partners and officials, has helped contain the epidemic and mitigate its effects by strengthening health systems and infrastructures via training more than 3,670 health workers on infection prevention and control, establishing triage centers at health centers that serve at least 400,000 people annually, and supporting safe and dignified burials for 16,000 people. These measures will help strengthen health systems over the long term. Avant l'épidémie d'Ebola, les agents de santé portaient uniquement les blouses pour voir les malades. La formation de CRS m'a permis d'appuyer les centres de santé dans le cadre de la mise en place des protocoles et directives de la prévention et contrôle des infections. A typical CRS training is about collaborating with health authorities. We need to keep supporting our local government who have learned a great deal from these epidemics and are willing to go forward and do better from now on. We need to keep on supporting the healthcare workers who are at the forefront of this fight. The CRS training has had enlightening effect for certain healthcare workers who have told us we didn't even know we were at risk, but we were tremendously at risk. CRS was able to help mobilize some money. And in Monrovia, we had our triage done long before most people. All health facility must have triage. But it didn't really bend down the curve until they got the communities involved. I think the triages will stay. It makes care better, in my opinion. I don't think Ebola's gone. I think it's gonna hang around and one must be prepared to see if you have a high infection, what is it from? So we were quite very busy hospital. Even though we were practicing standard precautions, uh, we were now really fully prepared. Our hospital was very, very hit. 15 people were infected, and a man died, and a six survived. Everything we had before the outbreak was destroyed. The hospital was closed. I don't think the hospital could really open without help of CRS. We need this help, especially in this post-outbreak period. In five years, I want to see this hospital become one of the best in the country uh, it used to be. But we want it to be better than the one we had before the outbreak. CRS was supervising the barrier teams in collaboration with the other Catholic development agencies. When the virus appeared in Sierra Leone and was spreading like wildfire, we said, well, we have to appeal to our people to stop those practices that involved direct contact either with the sick or with the dead. Even in death, we feel the, the person is part of the family and therefore to hand over that body to and on persons uh, was a difficult choice. Especially in the name of safe burial, putting the body dressed in a very strange way like uh, astronauts and taking the body, putting the body in an ambulance that kind of speeding away to bury that person in some unknown cemetery. We religious leaders came in and pleaded with the government and the experts to include dignified. And once that element of dignity you know, was added to the burial, we noticed a change. And CRS was working in uh, 12 of the 14 districts, uh, which is no, no small contribution considering the roads net network and the distances they have to cover. You know, as many emergencies, coordination was such a challenging issue. 
So supporting the logistics and the day-to-day -day running of the command and control centers was part of our response, which enhanced coordination and communication between all the actors who were responding. It was chaotic to have all these different organizations manage their own fleet. We do the maintenance and repair and also coordinate with the command and control center in terms of their deployment. There was a period when we had to reflect internally on what to do because we were not used to this kind of health emergency at this scale. CRS proved that we are not an agency that runs away when disasters strike, but we stay the course and we stand with the people shoulder to shoulder and make a difference.